the start and stop conditions will be very useful. There's a couple ways to get into there. Uh, under sampling options in the setup window is delayed start and automatic stop. That's under sampling options in the setup window. And the other way is just to double click on the stopwatch up here. So if I double click on the stopwatch, I can get right into delayed start. Oftentimes I want to have a data measurement start condition. So this time I'll say the position rises above. The rises and falls tends to work out better than is. Is above and is below is not as uh, consistent as rises above. So let's say rises above 0 0.4 meters. And let's have an automatic stop. And let's just say when the when the velocity, I'm just kind of making things up, uh, falls below 0 0.2 meters per second. I'm assuming there'll be some friction. So I'm going to hit record, start, and now it started collecting data because my glider got past there, and it automatically stopped when the velocity reached below 0.2. If I look at the position run, here's position, and the last run was run number 3, and it started at about 0.4, and it went all the way up to this position right here, which we could find pretty easily by just turning on statistics, max and min, and that's 1.112 meters away from the sensor. So again, start and stop conditions. Change those frequently during the experiment for each of the runs to get your desired data as cleanly as you can without any noise before or at the end of the data run.